So, okay, last week, on Tuesday, I was supposed to... Sorry, that's Binks. I was supposed to go to a catheter change appointment, and I'm sitting out there. My appointment was at 2.30. They were supposed to pick me up by 12.30. <laughs> I know, that sounds ridiculous, even though my appointment place is only an hour away. So, I called them when I realized they're late. Logisticare answers. I think Logisticare is like scheduling all the rides for care source uh, transportation, which I find ridiculous given their terrible reputation. So that day, I'm just told that I was bounced around for several days for that ride to be scheduled. I was bounced around from company to company and the last company had just said they couldn't take me like that morning which is ridiculous if that's going to happen if that's how it's, how it works out they haven't gotten somebody by the day before not the night before or the morning of i'm yelling sorry the day before they should call you the day before and let you know at least i well it should be two days before honestly because that's how many days I have to call in advance to schedule the ride. So I was able to reschedule it for today. And I was getting ready to go out. I was watching a video, a short video on YouTube. And I was like, okay, I can watch this and then I'll go outside and get ready and wait. And I get a call. <laughs> it's Kara Swartz. And I saw the name pop up on my phone screen and I just knew. Now this time they had a legitimate excuse. Although, okay, like the other day when it happened last week, I called the next day because I wanted to find out what company it was that was supposed to take me and dropped me. When they told me that I had canceled, I was like, no, they canceled on me. And then they told me that they couldn't tell me who it was that was supposed to be taking me, which I find hard to believe. The next day it should still be available information. I, I don't understand how you don't know that the next day. I should have asked them when I was on the phone with them when they called me to cancel that day. I hate myself for not doing that. So they called me this morning with a legitimate excuse. The driver's transmission went out and he can't come. And <laughs> they don't have anybody else. There's no one else. And I just wonder how few accessible vehicles do they have that this happens this often to me. And that's just my wondering on the subject. So I was angry and I said that if I get sick because this catheter has been in a week longer than it's supposed to have been, it's their fault for canceling on me. Hi, Stratus. I see you. So, and then I hung up right after I said that. And then I called my mom and she's on their phone with them now. <laughs> so I don't know what else to do because the only thing that I can ever get accomplished is to send it to their escalation team. And it doesn't do anything, clearly, because I have a laundry list of these incidences. So, yeah, that's what's happening. Gonna wait and see what mom has to say. I really don't want to have to go to the ER, because I'm pretty sure I have to get a COVID test. I, I don't know. I might have to. I haven't had one yet. I've managed to not have to get a COVID test this entire time. We've been going through the pandemic. It's almost a year. We are in March now, and it started for us the day before or the day after St. Patrick's Day. <sighs> 2021 is not any better than 2020. Sorry. <sighs> no. No. Okay. I'm help if you are watching. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Hello. Update. <laughs> Why is my hair so foofy over here? I need to wash my hair. I know that. Update on the whole transportation situation. I am now two weeks late getting my catheter changed out. I started feeling some issues last night, but I also had soda, so that doesn't help. Anyway, oh, okay. So, I, my appointment was two Tuesdays ago. Tuesday, but the Tuesday before. 
That was my original appointment. They didn't pick me up. The only reason that I just got bounced around from transportation company to transportation company and nobody could accommodate me, I guess. Their excuse, anyway. <sighs> so I rescheduled for this Tuesday, which was two days ago now. And um, I'm in my room and I am just about to go outside and get my wheelchair out of my shed and get set up and ready to wait for the ride to get here. And I get a call. We're not coming today. The driver's transmission is out, which is understandable if I believed that. I don't know if I believe. I don't know. I I don't know at this point. It could have been the truth. I don't I don't know. But at this point I don't care anymore. It's ridiculous. The first I should have been I should have had this done by now. Um I wouldn't be so upset about transmission going out. If, um they hadn't just not called me well enough in advance the time before. It's the same I still haven't gone to this one appointment. I need my catheter changed. <sighs> I get mad. And I just tell her, you know, if I get sick because my catheter has been in too long, it's your guys' fault. And I hung up. And then I called my mom because I'm clearly like getting anywhere with these people. And she gets on the phone with them. A while later, she calls me back and tells me she's been on hold the whole time. So I end up calling them and I'm on hold for 20 minutes and I give up because it's not going to do anything. They're just going to ask me if I want to send it to the escalation team and <laughs> That doesn't do anything, clearly. I went online and I looked up the Better Business Bureau and I left a review on there, which will probably get disregarded or talked down about. Like, blah, 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 they're trying, blah, 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 blah. I rescheduled for this Wednesday. Oh, I gotta call them today. Because my dad is taking me. I'm not gonna trust them to take me a third time. It's not gonna happen. Uh, so my dad's going to take me to that appointment. I got to call them and I should be eligible for reimbursement. So I'm going to call and find out about that. And if not, I'm going to pitch a fit and stick my mother on them. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and do that. I don't get it. I can guarantee this does not happen to able-bodied people that don't need accessible vehicles. I can guarantee it does not happen to them or at least doesn't happen as often to, to them. The problem, according to them, is that there aren't um, any other vehicles available when this stuff happens. It means they don't have as many accessible vehicles as they do non-accessible vehicles, which to me is a problem. <laughs> but I can guarantee that their clientele of handicapped is more than the able-bodied ones. Like, I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Just, I can imagine somebody who, like me, is... Somebody um, who isn't like me and doesn't have the option of walking gets stranded. It's ridiculous. Like, they don't have any other options. Somebody who uses a wheelchair full-time, they don't have any other options. At least I have options. My dad was laid off several months ago. So that's how he's able to take me. But if we don't get back in time, well, we will get back in time because he'll be taking me and we'll be able to leave right after the appointment. The other thing I'm worried about is it's... it's been in there for two weeks longer than it should have it's painful like <laughs> i sneezed last night and my stomach hurt i don't know what that's about or that it'll be more painful i wonder if i can get them to give me a lidocaine they did that once i usually don't ask for it because it's a quick procedure it hurts for a few minutes and then that's it um, i usually take ibuprofen and that helps i usually find until i get home that it starts to wear off but it's like sore for like 24 hours and then that's it. But yeah, that is where I'm at now. So I'm waiting for next Wednesday to happen. I'm gonna call and see if they will reimburse us for gas because they should. Maybe I'll update you guys and let you know how that goes. Good news, I can be reimbursed. <laughs> as long as it says that I'm the driver, the member has to be the driver. Does not make sense because not everybody who uses a wheelchair is able to drive. The lady who helped me through the whole process of, uh, you know, getting everything situated was so sweet and amazing and really funny. <laughs> she was having problems with the computer, which they always are. They take forever to like start up or whatever. 
I don't know what I think she cussed it out at one point, but I'm not completely sure. So oh, she was really funny, though. And I think the woman who transferred me to that line, I think she belched right before she put me on hold. It was either that or it was one of those weird little like throat noises. I get them all the time. They sound the same as what this did. <laughs> or her stomach was growling. I don't know. But it sounded like one of those things. Just like right before she transferred me and put on the on hold music. <laughs> Oh, but the lady who helped me out with everything, um, she was really sweet, really funny. I liked her. <laughs> so I have to check my email for um, the reimbursement form, but she said she'd also send it to me, like, physically. So if I don't get it in the mail by, like, the day or two days before the appointment, I will have my mom print it up for me. So I have to get it signed by the nurse that uh, does my catheter change so yeah so that that was a positive experience <laughs> yay positive experiences yay we love those <laughs> okay i'm going to upload this to the computer because my phone was yelling at me that i'm running out of space and i'm gonna try to get it edited and figure out my um audio issue that i'm having on the app uh for some reason all of a sudden itunes is not accepted <laughs> so they told me that it's not an accepted form and i'm like well it has been as of like this past week so <laughs> when did you all change this policy <laughs> because they did it just like a couple days ago so figure that out yeah so far so good we'll update after my appointment <laughs>